Hey, how's it going? Drew here with a quick video for you guys. And in this video, I want to talk about brand storytelling and why it is so vital, especially in 2024. And so why is that? Why is it so important? Well, the answer is storytelling, right? If you think about it, anytime someone buys a product or a service, they run a little movie, a little story in their head of what life is going to be like after they purchase that product or after they purchase your service. They're running a little story in their head, right? And so this is why brand storytelling is so important. You know, I really feel like there's a lot of businesses out there still to this day that are just simply relying on word of mouth and referrals. And, and while that does generate you know, obviously some substantial business for these businesses. The thing is, is you cannot simply rely on that coming in 2024. We have all these new technologies. We have Web3. We have, you know, augmented reality. We have interactive video now, right? We have all these new things coming in. Referrals and word of mouth is really, really good, but you just cannot simply just rely on that. Creating brand story uh, content for your brand is really important because it is all about building the no like trust factor. Let me give you a quick example of what I mean. Let's say I have a roof and it is leaking or it has a leak or there's a crack in it. It's it's a big deal. It's driving me crazy. So I'm researching roofing companies naturally. And let's say roofing company A that I see they have your standard business site that I see all the time, you know, has like really nice, you know, text. It's a nice layout, has pictures, has some reviews or testimonials. And so and let's say I go to roofing company B's website and they have like an intro video or a series of videos that are introducing the owner, introducing the team, talking about their process and what to expect if you if you uh, book an appointment with them whatever what to expect right so who do you think naturally if if i'm in the market for a roofing company who who am i going to go with who who am i more likely to choose right it's going to be b right because their videos their video content makes me feel like i can trust them because they're sharing their personal story of why they're passionate about helping people with roofs and and how you know it's a family business and you know what i mean like that story makes me feel like i can trust them with a video it's more personal so i felt like they're even more personable so this is why brand story storytelling is so important and that's why i keep telling people you know like just put out your own content you know put out video content you know, personalized videos, you know, because it is so important with connecting to your ideal audience. And in 2024, a lot of changes are coming. And so the more you can build relationships online and be omnipresent, especially with powerful video content, you're going to stand out. So at the end of the day, it all comes back to storytelling. We are always attracted to really great stories. I mean, just look at movies, for example, like movies that have the best story, they're always packed. The theaters are always packed. So just think about that with your business. You know, how are you going to use storytelling in 2024 to help grow your business and to use storytelling as a tool to reach more people, to highlight the value that you bring to the table and how you're uniquely qualified and how you help people. So I just figured I'd just jump on the horn here and make this quick video. Please let me know in the comments below how are you going to use storytelling in 2024 for your brand. I'm really, really curious what ideas you have for that. I'd love to hear them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.